Being live on multiple platforms at the same time can make you feel like you need a wall of screens to keep track of everything. Six monitors, six consoles, ten computers! Well, if you don't want to deal with that, Restream allows you to multi-stream, but it also collects all your chats from all your platforms and it puts it into one clean chat window. You can also embed the Restream window in OBS Studio, so that makes it even better. Right here we are on the dashboard of Restream, and if you still have to set up everything or you don't know how Restream works, you can watch that video. It's one of the three videos that are sponsored by Restream. This is the third one. This will be mainly about using the chat. So after linking your channels right here, you can click on these dots on the left and then go to chat app. And now right here we see three options for using this chat. And there actually is a fourth one that we will do in OBS Studio later because Restream integrates into OBS Studio, which is extremely helpful. But right here, what do we have? So download for Windows. This will just download the Restream chat application so you can open it on your computer as a separate window. When you install this, you can log in and then you've just got your Restream chat. Then the second thing is open in browser. And when I hold control and I click on it, it will open in a new window. And then right here, you will just see my Restream chat. So I can drag this out right here and I can make a separate window out of it. So this is kind of the same thing from the Restream chat application. There are minor differences, but in general, you can just use it this way without installing the app. And then the third option right here is embed in stream. And this is just to put your chat on your screen. I'm going to show you how to put it on your stream later, as well as going over these settings because they are pretty important. But first, I'm going to show you how to import Restream into OBS Studio and then also how to integrate it in Streamlabs OBS in case you're using that. So first of all, let's go to OBS Studio right here. I made an empty profile. I just put test on the screen. Let's go to the settings on the bottom right and then to stream. Now, right here, you would select your Twitch or your YouTube or whatever you're streaming with, right? Well, while using Restream, you can select Restream.io right here. Then you can click on connect account and then you can just log in. So I logged in right now and it looks like nothing changed, right? But something actually did change. Let's click on OK. And right now you see that we get three new windows, right? Let's click on allow first. And these windows are from OBS Studio. We can just drag them right here and we can add them to our interface. So our chat on the right, right here, you can adjust the width. And then on the left, you get your stream control. So your stream information. And the reason that they put it right here from Restream natively is that when you update your information right here, it will update for all your platforms. And then right here, multi-streaming, you can disable one of your platforms if you don't want to stream to it. I'm going to enable it right now and you can also find these windows when you go to view to docs and then right here chat stream information and restream channels these are the three you see right here now you can also close one of them if you want or you can grab them out and then you have them as a separate window to put somewhere on your screens if you have multiple of them and right now i'm gonna quickly show you how to do the same thing in Streamlabs OBS. now the problem with Streamlabs OBS is that when we go to the settings and then we go to stream Right here, we can select streaming services. Then we can select restream.io, but you can't log in right here. The only thing you can do is paste your stream key, but there is another option in Streamlabs OBS. Let's click on done and on the left, you see layout editor. Now right here, you can change the layout of Streamlabs OBS. You can replace windows, but you can also get a completely different layout right here on the left and this one right here is the only one that gives you six windows which gives you one extra window that you can use now on the left you see website right here and you can drag this to here then you can enter restream dot io and then click on save changes now right here this will be an actual browser window so when i make this bigger you will see that i can just log in right here and now right here we can also click on these options then go to chat app and then click on open in browser and as you see this gives us our restream chat now the only downside about this is that it isn't full height now you can of course go to the layout editor and then use one of these layouts in case you don't need one of these let's say you don't want to see your recent events well, then you can just drag the website to here and then you can have your restream chat at full height. That's a choice that you can make. So now let's go back to OBS Studio. Now I'm going to show you a few things with this chat right here. You can click on the restream icon and here you can choose with what channel you want to chat. So if I only want to send a message to my Twitch viewers, then I can select Twitch right here. 
I can say hi and when I go to my Twitch channel, you'll see that I say hi right here. But if you're connected to a bunch of other platforms, then you will see a bunch of options right here and you can send messages with a certain profile. If I select Restream, then it will send the message to all profiles. So all profiles that allow you to send messages right here with Restream will appear right here on the bottom of the message because this shows on which platforms these messages have been sent. So when I go to my Twitch right now, you will see that TVN tutorial set high again. So the messages that you send to all profiles will not be sent as Restream, but they will be sent with the actual account on that specific platform. So that's a very good thing. Now there are a bunch of settings right here, so let's go over them. Appearance, when you click on that, you can change how your chat will look. You see a preview right here on the bottom. So you see if we increase the scale, this is what happens with your chat. You have a few options right here. Let's close this. The next setting you have is embed in stream. And I've talked about this before. Let's click on that. And then you will get a link right here on top. It's blurred right now, but this is a link I can click on copy. And then right here, for example, in OBS Studio, I can click on the plus icon. I can click on browser to add a browser source. I can call this chat, click on OK. And then I can replace this link right here with the link I copied here on the right. Let's click on OK. And now this right here will be my Restream chat. And many people will want to get rid of this background. And that's extremely easy right here on the right. Chat background opacity. Let's set this to zero. And then only the message will appear. Now I'm not sure if it updates automatically. Let's click on the cross icon and let's type a message. And as you see, it didn't update. So maybe we need to go to the browser right here and then say refresh cache of current page. And as you see, that works. It reloads the URL. So that's perfect. Let's go back to the settings to embed in stream and we have a few other options right here. And the great thing about this is the themes. You can literally take an Overwatch compact theme and that will make it look like Overwatch. So if you're playing a specific game that's available right here, that actually looks kind of good. This is for League of Legends. You can also change it to League Compact and it looks like the game you're playing. So that's very useful. You have a bunch of options right here. This is the normal chat like most tools are being used for. So let's refresh the page right here on the bottom. Refresh, click on OK and this will be the normal chat. So you have a few options right here. Let's close this and let's go to the settings again and then reply commands. And this is a very basic commands function. Now this is pretty useful because when we click on create, we can make a command, for example, socials. And then we can add a message right here and then you can click on create. And this is a command. So when I close this, I can type exclamation mark socials right here. And I will send this and then Restream will send the message my Twitch is and it will send it to all the platforms if you've selected Restream right here. Now right here you see that I just typed a command exclamation mark test and this was to test something and it's actually pretty interesting. So I know that a bunch of you will say, well, I have certain commands on my other streaming platform. So for example, my Twitch bot already reacts to exclamation mark socials, or I have the same bot on another platform. And that's true because as you see, I typed exclamation mark test right here. And when I go to my Twitch, you see that Restream actually sent the message exclamation mark test. So let's go back for a second. If you type a command right here in the Restream chat, and it's a command that you didn't add right here in the Restream commands, then it will actually send the command to your other platforms. If it's a command that does exist, for example, we just made exclamation mark socials and I sent that, then it will not send the actual command text like exclamation mark test, but it will send the text that you added right here in the reply command. So exclamation mark socials, just sends a message. So if you have a chatbot on all your other platforms, then you can just type the command right here without making the command in Restream. But if you wanna make all your commands in one place, you can make your commands right here in the reply commands. And then you don't have to make all these commands on your other platforms. You can just make them right here and it will work everywhere. Let's go to the next option, which is bot. Now this is pretty interesting because the relay mode will actually send all messages that are being sent on any platform to all the other platforms. So what this means is that when you're streaming on four platforms and on one of those platforms, a viewer sends a message, then Restream will send that message to the other three platforms too. Nothing else fancy to explain right here. 
It's simple, but it's extremely useful because that way you get the maximum engagement. Because if one of your channels is much more popular and a lot of viewers are sending messages right there, then your other platforms that maybe only have a few viewers will also see those messages. Well, when you use relay mode, then everyone on any platform will see all your messages, so they will always know what you're talking about and what viewers are thinking of it. This is great. Let's go to the next setting, which is analytics. We're gonna skip this right now. Let's go to Discord. Right here, you can connect your Discord and this will allow you, as it says right here, to automatically share all your restream chat messages directly into Discord and from Discord to the restream chat. So this is pretty simple. You can have one channel in your Discord that just sees all the messages that are being sent while being live. And people in your Discord can also type messages and those will appear on your streaming platforms. Let's go to the next one, which is filtering. Here you can mute certain chatters. You can just type a name, like if someone is called hello and he's being obnoxious, you just do mute and then the person called hello will not be able to send any messages. And then the same thing right here, you can add a banned word or banned sentence or something like that, filter. And then when anyone types this word in your chat, it will get filtered out automatically. This is very useful to add a bunch of offensive words right here. The option on top is hiding common chatbots like nightbots, stream elements, stuff like that. And then the second one is hiding all commands. Then the last option in the row, this is pretty useful because right here we can see which platforms support which functions. And then the last option right here that we skipped is analytics, but we can also grab this from our dashboard. On the left, we can go to analytics right here. And here you will see a bunch of statistics analytics about your maximum viewers the amount of chatters the amount of average viewers stuff like that because it combines the stats from all your platforms into one graph which is extremely useful because otherwise you have to go to all your platforms to all your analytics and then count everything together stuff like that this combines everything. If you have any questions, you can ask it in the comments. And for any questions about streaming in general or something specific, for example, this right here, I stream every week on Twitch. So you can join me on the stream, ask a question. I would greatly appreciate it if you would give me a follow. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in my description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Okay. Okay. <laughs>